Praise God for another glorious and wonderful day. He has blessed us to see. Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Uh, Facebook Live. It is a blessing to be with you today. We are here for the uh, single adult ministry virtual Bible discussion. Thank you for joining us today. Let someone know. Spread the word. Spread the word that the truth is streaming right now. God is in the blessing business. The Lord is good. Um, and he is beyond compare. And he has been so gracious and merciful, kind and good to each and every one of us. And we thank you for joining us this afternoon. The word of God is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. He is uh, in control. It is time. It is time for our single adult ministry virtual Bible study. Come on in the room. Farmer Jay, great to see you. Sister Crystal, great to have you. Melissa, thank you for joining us. Hunter family, thank you so much. Veronica, great to have you with us. Uh, James White and family, thank you for being with us. Claytonia J, we appreciate you. And uh, Sister April, God bless you. Thank you so very much. And there are many others. Please, everyone, please like our Facebook page. Uh, share. Uh, if you care, you will share. Uh, share the content that God is blessing us to uh, spread abroad. And we encourage everyone to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're having lots of videos being downloaded to our YouTube channel uh, of the Sunday services, the Bible classes, Wednesday night Bible classes, uh, Friday youth uh, discussions, Saturday single adult ministry, uh, Bible discussions and our Saturday marriage enrichment Bible discussions. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, God is in the blessing business. We're thankful for the opportunity to come to you and, and on in these various social media platforms and share a word from the Lord. Uh, Sister Claytonia, great to see you. Bridget, wonderful to have you. Sister April, uh, Mac family, great to see you family. Uh, Michael Wilkes, God bless you. Bless you, Gator. Uh, Holden family, we love you. And uh, it is time for us to go to the word of the Lord. Uh, the word of the Lord is able and available to help us, to cleanse us, and to give us a strength beyond compare. Our subject this afternoon, wisdom from above or wisdom from below. That's our subject, wisdom from above or wisdom from below. It's important that we make the decision of where we receive our source of wisdom. And we're saying this to all, every, everyone is invited. Everyone's invited to come on in the room uh, today. And uh, Sister Tiffany Cole, great to see you. Great to have you. Uh, Michael Wilkes, Mac family, Holden family, thank you. Sister April, appreciate you. Come on in the room. Everyone, start your watch parties, like, subscribe, share, and, and let your social media network know that the truth is streaming right now. Uh, wisdom from below, but wisdom from above or wisdom from below. That's, that's our subject. That's our subject. James is the text, the book of James. Uh, is our, our scriptural text where we will start off from uh, verses James uh, chapter 3, uh, verses 13 through 18. James chapter 3, verses 13 through 18. And we're seeing viewership from all over Florida, all over Georgia, all up the East Coast, uh, from Texas, and from various uh, states in the country, and some uh, international uh viewers. So thank you so much for joining us. Let's go to the Lord in a word of prayer. Can you hear me good? Jay? Let us go to the Lord in a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for your love. Thank you for this blessed opportunity to come to the viewing audience in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear God, we come to you and we ask for your strength, your wisdom, your mercy, your grace to be upon us. We pray for our world at this time, dear master, for our world needs you. 
Help us to recognize that we need you even more than money. We need you even more than physical health. We need you even more than systems and programs. And we need you even more than we need people to appreciate us. Help us to know that we need you primarily. Help us, dear God, to seek that wisdom that is from above instead of the wisdom that is from below. We honor you. We praise you. Thank you for this day. We pray for all the members of the Church of Christ, the land, the country, the world over. Help us to speak the same thing. Help us that there will be no divisions among us, but that we will be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. We pray, dear Lord, for your guidance upon this Bible study. We pray for our singles, our single brothers, our single sisters, single mothers, uh, single fathers. Bless them, strengthen them, dear God, to be faithful to you, faithful to your holy word. And we thank you for their gifts, talents, and abilities. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 The word of God is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. It's great to have uh, Angel from uh, GA. Great to see you. Malik, great to have you. Carly, uh, thank you so much. Brother Carl, appreciate you. Twyla, and uh, thank, thank you so much, everyone, for joining in. Wisdom from above or wisdom from below. That's what we are discussing today. Uh, that's what we want to talk about today. And we want to know uh, where we should get, uh, where we should receive our wisdom. Look at James, James chapter 3 is our text, verses 13 through 18. Hear the word of the Lord. Who is a wise man and endowed with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation, his works with meekness, uh, and uh, Sister Bev, I got to mention Sister Beverly, God bless you, Cynthia uh, as well, thank you so much, uh, his works with meekness of wisdom, look at James 3, 14, but if you have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not, and lie not against the truth, this wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish, for where envying and strife is, there is confusion, and every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, uh, then uh, gentle and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality, without hypocrisy. Look at James 3 and verse 18. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. James 3 Verse 13 through 18, wisdom from above or wisdom from below? You make the choice as to where you get your wisdom from. Today, in our world today, there's so much so-called wisdom out there, so much information out there, so many people talking, so many people, there are so many people that are sharing information, but uh, I believe that some of it is good and some of it is bad. Some of it is from above and some of it is from below. And you can't listen to everything that you hear, everything that you uh, learn, everything that's out there uh, on, in, on social media, everything that's out there uh, is not right, is not necessary, is not needful. And so we want to remind everyone to receive and pay attention to the wisdom that is from above. Seek the wisdom that is from above. Now, we need uh, wisdom from now, now wisdom from above is spiritual wisdom from heaven itself, spiritual wisdom from God himself. And wisdom from below is worldly wisdom. That is from the earth. And we want to make the difference. We want to make sure that we notice the difference between the two uh, because it is important that we learn uh, that, that, that we have the wisdom that is from above. Now, we need you may, you may ask the question, well, preacher, are you saying we don't need to know how to protect ourselves today against COVID-19? Are you saying we don't need gloves? We don't need masks? Uh, I'm not saying that. We, you know, I have my gloves. I have my mask. And we practice social distancing. And we need information to work on our jobs. We need uh, information that, uh, it, that we have to have to drive. That we, ha we need information that we have to have to stop at red lights and various other avenues in this world. Uh, we need lots of information that is independent and not spiritual uh, 
per se and not worldly per se. But uh, we're making the difference today between information that is for your spirit, for your soul. We need the information that's from above and not from below. Do everything you can to take care of your body. Do everything you can to take care of your mind. Do everything you can to take care of your spirit. We are in total support of that. But to our singles, make the decision, make the decision to invest more time in the spiritual wisdom. Singles face temptations, uh, in, you face certain temptations that are unique to your situation. Some people who are single have certain temptations that are different than some people who are married. Some people who are older have certain temptations that are different than some who are younger. Some who are, you know, uh, some who may be from different areas or have different backgrounds. You face uh, certain temptations that may be different than others. But what can help you remain faithful to Christ is receiving as much wisdom from above as you can possibly receive. James, uh, in the book of James, he is known as uh, what many call the preacher of common sense. James is, is the older half-brother, known as the older half-brother of Jesus Christ. Uh, James uh, writes to the 12 tribes that are scattered in, uh, that are scattered abroad. Uh, he gives symbolic references to the Jews, and James is writing this letter. It is an organized, logical letter on the ethical aspects of the Christian life. In other words, how to put Christianity into practice. James gives a realization that this book is largely composed of general exhortations and admonitions. Uh, this book is what many call the New Testament book of Proverbs. It is a, it's a practical book. This book, uh, the major theme of the book of James is to appeal to the believer that true faith results in outward acts of obedience and righteousness. In other words, James 1.22. In other words, it's good to believe the truth, but you've got to put it into practice. James, the book of James teaches how to put God's word into practice. So that's, our, that's why we have the subject, wisdom from above or wisdom from below from James 3, verse 13 through 18. Now, this James tells us, put God's word into practice. Look at James 1, verse uh, 20, uh, verse 19. James 1, 19, he said, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every one of you be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. Is that good advice during this COVID-19 pandemic? Swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. Is that good advice during this time of racial tensions and racial unrest? Is that good advice during this time of, of so much uh, discrimination, so much anger, so much attack against many people who are of African descent, African Americans, etc.? Isn't that good advice for those who are be, who have been uh, disenfranchised, overlooked, and hurt and harmed? Uh, who are having uh, health problems, who are having uh, problems with being discriminated against, uh, who, are, uh, who are having to deal with racists. Isn't that good advice for those who have financial struggles? Isn't that good advice for those uh, who are trying to figure out what's the right next move? Well, uh, the Bible says here, James 1 verse 19, he says, uh, be swift to hear. Now get a lot of information in your heart, in your mind, in your spirit, but then slow to speak and then slow to wrath. You're going to be tempted to get revenge, tempted to get get, get revenge. Uh, uh, thank you. That's right. We should. Uh, thank you, Sister Beverly. We should listen fast and talk slow. My goodness, that's a good saying. Listen fast and talk slow. Uh, be swift to hear. That's what it means. It means rush to hear, to learn something good and beneficial. Don't listen to all kinds of foolishness now, things that are a waste of your time, but we need to be swift to hear, listen fast, and, 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 and slow to speak, talk slow. Look at verse 20, James 1 verse 20. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart, lay aside all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. See, when you receive God's word, when you receive it, when it's in your spirit, he says... 
you know, you can receive it, you can learn it, you can have it, and then be slow to wrath. You know when someone, very often, you know when someone is, is trying to mistreat you. You know when someone is working against you. You know when someone is hurting, uh, you, uh, it, attempting to hurt you or, or look over you. But don't get revenge. Don't get revenge. I believe Black Lives Matter. I believe it's good to march. I believe it's good to protest. We wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for marching and protesting of many of our beloved ancestors who came before us, generations before us. Uh, I believe it's good to fight uh, the power in a fight for justice, fight for equality without disobeying God's word, without committing sin. Be, we, we talked many times so far, uh, be angry and sin not from Ephesians chapter four. So, so that's okay. But James one and verse number 20 be, don't let wrath come upon you. The wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. We're talking about the wisdom from above versus the wisdom from below. Uh, uh, the, the, what, why are you going into this preacher with the single adults? You know, well, uh, the wisdom from below says, uh, let's burn everything down. But the wisdom from above says to follow God's word and do those things that are right and in the Lord's sight. Wisdom from below uh, says to get yourself, it's COVID-19 season, get yourself, uh, you know, someone to live with you and, you know, have a sexual relationship before you get married and try out living together before you get married and, you know, and, and just see how it goes, see how it works. Uh, well, well, no, 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 no. Um, that's what the wisdom from below says, but the wisdom from above uh, says to abstain, uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 6, verse 12, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 23, uh, the, the Hebrews 13, verse 4, the wisdom from above says marriage is honorable in all, and that's when the bed is undefiled. The wisdom from below says that you don't, uh, that, you know, we, we can just be angry with people, mad with people. I don't need the church. I don't need God. I don't need anybody. I'll just become self-sufficient and put my trust in money, stuff, and things. That's, that's the wisdom from below. But the wisdom from above says, uh, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. The wisdom from below uh, says, let's get vengeance. Let's get out there and fight. Let's battle. Uh, let's, let's give them an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But uh, the wisdom from above, thank you. Uh, my, my wife chimes in, God bless her. Uh, dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath because it is written vengeance is mine i will repay says the lord see there's a difference in following the wisdom from below and the wisdom from above and when you're yeah we have to be careful uh to to make sure that as you you know you are, we're seeing and we're hearing and we're receiving so much information we're not in the age of wisdom we live in the age of information i mean there's so much information and so much of it is useless. But you have to be able to tell the wisdom from above versus the wisdom that's from below. Uh, I have uncles. I grew up in Winter Haven, Florida, a small town in central Florida, and lots of lakes in Winter Haven. And, and with my uncles uh, would love to go fishing, and they would love to fish and come home with lots of fish, and they fry the fish. And many times uh, with big family, a lot of people in the household, uh, they, that was what we would eat sometimes at night, eat some fish and man, somebody have some grits and put some, uh, put some cheese with it and some butter. And, and I mean, you got a meal right there. You know, we, we, we weren't in the drive through every day. We, we had to just kind of, uh, work with what we had many times, but, but they would fry the fish, but the fish would be straight out of the lakes. You know, you, they would catch the fish, they would, uh, clean them. You know, and then prepare them and then uh, fry them. And, and you know what you have to do when you're eating fish, uh, especially straight out of the lake like that? You've got to be able to eat the meat and spit out the bones. You have to be very careful. You can't just go in, dive in, chomp, chomp, chomp. No, you have to be careful. You're going to eat a lot of bones if you just take it all in. And I encourage everyone, I encourage everyone as you're getting all this information 
from social media, that you're getting all this information from networks and getting all this information from uh, from social media outlets, from uh, Yahoo, Google, uh, Facebook. You know, there are many that have uh, their they have Facebook uh, master's degrees and and Twitter. Uh, they have Twitter bachelor's degrees and they have Instagram doctorates and everything. They talk convincing talk. They speak well, but they have to be able, the Bible says, prove all things. Hold fast to that which is good. So don't fall for the wisdom from below. We need that wisdom that is from above. The wisdom from below says the message of the cross is foolishness, but the wisdom from above says the message of the cross is the power of God. That's 1 Corinthians 1 18. Wisdom from below says that, you know, we don't need God. We can make it on our own, but the wisdom from above says that uh, I can't make it without you, Lord. David said, uh, the Lord, I, every, there's one step between me and death. In other words, my life is in the hands of Almighty God. The wisdom from below says to boast and to brag about me and who I am and what I can do and how much I know. But the wisdom from above says if any man brag or glory or boast, boast in the Lord. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 31. The wisdom from below says to take pride in human knowledge. 1 Corinthians 8 2. But the wisdom from above says to receive the mind of Christ. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 16. Philippians 2 and 5, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. The wisdom from below criticizes the leadership of the church. Oh, I can't get no help right in there. You know, wisdom from below said that, that leadership boy in the church, they don't know what they're doing. Uh, if it was me, I would do this and I would do that. And we should be doing this. 1 Corinthians 4 and verse 8. Wisdom from below says criticize the leadership. But the wisdom from above says submit to the church leadership. 1 Corinthians 14, 37. 1 Corinthians 16, verse 16. Uh, Ephesians 4, verse 11 and 12. The wisdom from below uh, is arrogance, envy, strife, division, malice, craftiness, trying to trick, trying to uh, perform, trying to uh, trick someone out of something or try to get over on someone uh, by scrupulous means. That's 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 1 and chapter 1 verse 10. But the wisdom from above, the wisdom from above respects uh, er respects everyone, edifies, seeks another's well-being and pursues unity and love. So are you going to pursue the wisdom from below or the wisdom that is from above? James 3, James gives us the answer here. James says, uh, James 3, verse 13, who is a wise man and endowed with wisdom among you? If you believe that you're wise, this is what you will do. He says, show out of a good conversation or good manner of life your works with meekness of wisdom. Do what God says. Put God's word into practice and, pra and have meekness about your works. Don't boast about yourself. Don't put faith and trust in your own way of thinking. Put the Lord's word above everything else. James 3 verse 14. But if you have bitter envy and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. COVID-19 during this time uh, and whether it be racial discrimination, um, racists parading themselves around with hate, uh, messages of hate. We have to have messages of unity and love. We have to be able to protest and do it peacefully. If, if you, if we protest, do it peacefully, do it with love, even when others may not have love for you. Lord have mercy. That's how you show that you have wisdom from above. We should do everything we possibly can in our power to uh, fight for justice. But remember that vengeance. God said, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. He said, James 3, 14, maybe during this time, maybe it is revealing some bitterness you have in your heart. Maybe it's during this, this uh, season, this COVID-19 season, and during, this, uh, during the horrible, terrible, wicked murders that have taken place down, uh, not just this year, but down through the years. 
it causes so much pain in me. And I have to say, it brings up some anger in me. It brings up some resentment in me. I'm just as mad as anyone else. I'm just as angry as anyone else. But I have to take this anger. I have to take this anger and then channel it and learn how to let the anger manifest and turn into and apply the anger to the wisdom of God and ask the Lord, uh, Lord, what would you have me to do with the way I'm feeling? Lord, have mercy. Lord, what would you have me to do? What is beneficial, dear God, with the feelings that I'm feeling? I, that's what we're trying to get to. That's what we're trying to remind everyone of. Don't allow your feelings to uh, misguide you into doing something wrong. Uh, there, I, I was reading. I've been doing a lot of reading, and in the reading, talked about uh, the emotions. Emotions in one book, talking about how we can deal with stress and how we can overcome the temptations to do wrong. Emotions serve a purpose in this day and time. Emotions serve a purpose when we see injustice, seeing the horrible killing of George Floyd and others. It brought up a lot of emotions for me. Brought up because that could that that, that in, he looked like one of my family members looked like one but he's a human being first of all and someone totally disrespected his life and it brought up a lot of emotions for many of us we have emotions but let me tell you what emotions are for emotions just tell you something is wrong or something is right that's all emotions do emotions tell you something is wrong or something is right but emotions don't tell you what to do about what is wrong or about what is right okay number one that's the, we're talking about the wisdom from above now if you want to take the wisdom from below then you can just burn everything down and start shooting and fighting and killing but but the jesus our lord said if you live by the sword you'll die by the sword and by the way most of the protests are peaceful most of the protesters are there for peaceful means and good means and there have been a lot of progress that has been made but we will also serve a spiritual organism, the Church of Christ, the Lord's Church. And it's my job, it's our job as the leadership and the ministers and elders uh, and deacons of the Lord's Church to teach the members and the world how we should react to uh, great events and horrific events. Number one, you're going to have emotions. And emotions only tell you something is wrong or something is right, okay? And in this case, uh, no, emotions tell us that something is wrong, but emotions must lead to reason. Emotions must lead to reason, and then reason must be guided by truth. Lord have mercy. I'm, I'm, I'm teaching, I'm teaching. We're helping somebody. Emotions uh, lead to reason, and reason must be guided by truth. Emotion, don't let your emotions cause you to sin. Now that's for everybody. That could be in areas of your, you know, um, your money, mismanaging your finances. That could be, uh, that could be hate. That could be anger. That could be quitting your job in a moment of anger uh, when you know that you need to pay those bills. That could manifest itself in uh, leaving the church. So I'm not just talking about one event. We're talking about all these different uh, areas where the devil's trying to tempt us. Emotions. Emotions serve a purpose. Emotions tell you when something is wrong or right. Emo they lead us to reason, and reason should be guided by truth. Thank you. Thank you. Me, the team, God bless you. Uh, emotions, that's all emotions serve. Emotions don't tell you what you should do about a situation. They just tell you something is wrong or something is right. And make sure that when you have these emotions, then you say you try to apply reason to the situation. Well, I need to meditate on this. I need to think about this. And your reason, your process, uh, your strategy for changing your emotions need to be guided by the truth. Need to be guided by the truth. Some people, uh, they have emotions. And they, they're saying, you know, I have this, I'm in this apartment and I, I can't keep up these bills and I need to get my boyfriend to live in here with me and help me pay these bills. Now, you've got emotions. 
and you, you tried to apply some reason, but that reason is not guided by truth. The reason, it must be guided by the truth. The truth is, Hebrews 13, verse 4, marriage is honorable in all, bed undefiled. At that point, whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. People don't like that kind of teaching. They say that's old school, but it's, it's the Bible. Uh, emotions may tell you, I need to quit this job. I'm sick of these people. I'm tired of these, these people. I, on my secular job, working for the Department of Children and Families, uh, I was discriminated against a number of times. I was harassed, discriminated against, uh, but, but I had to, I, those emotions had to be, had to lead me to reason. And reason said, young man, you still have some bills to pay. You have a wife and some, and some greedy children. And, and, I, and I'm greedy too. But, but the emotions had to lead to reason. And the reason was guided by the truth. Uh, the truth of Ephesians 4, 28. You need to work and make your living. Keep working and make your money and ask God to guide you. Thank you, Sister Pam. Thank you, uh, Sister Liz. You're right. Thank you, uh, Sister April. That, that's right. We quit the job all the time in our minds. But, but when you look at those bills, that's, that's reason. Emotions say quit. Reason say you better think about it. And truth says you have bills to pay. Lord Jesus, have mercy. I think we made our point. But, but uh, that's what we're saying. He says throughout COVID-19, I think we're learning. We're learning there's some things inside of us that we didn't know was inside of us. We have emotions. We have feelings. We have uh, maybe some sadness, maybe some depression inside of us, maybe some anger, maybe some resentment, uh, maybe some some uh, uh, some sadness and regret uh, about uh, something that happened in the past or guilt. Let the reason from the scriptures lead you to the truth. He says, if James chapter three, verse seventeen. But the wisdom. That is from above, my goodness. The wisdom that is from above. He says it's first pure, then it's peaceable, then it's gentle. We need that wisdom from above. It's pure. It is untainted. It is uh, above reproach. The wisdom from above is so pure. James says in James, we're talking about the Bible. When you re read this, uh, it's, it's called uh, James 1 and verse number uh, 17. Every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variableness or shadow of turning. He said this wisdom from above is not only pure, it's incorruptible. It's an incorruptible seed. Not only is it clean, it can't be tainted. So we need this wisdom from above above this pure wisdom. It's, a, it's pure. James 1 verse, 7, verse 17 and now James 3 verse 17 again. The wisdom from above is pure. Then it's peaceable. It'll give you peace in the midst of your storm. Do we need, don't you need some peace today? Don't you need some peace from above uh, from, this, from this particular, from the word of God? It's gentle. It will help you uh, to calm down. Anybody need some help to stay calm in the midst of the storm? I believe I do. I believe you do too. Uh, because we're talking about the wisdom from above instead of the wisdom from below. Uh, we easy to be entreated. It's easy to receive. It's easy to, to, uh, it's easy to digest. If you keep studying it, keep praying about it, keep going into it. And this wisdom is so peaceable. It provides so much peace. I can protest, I can fight the power, I can stand up to injustice and still uh, do it without committing sin, without uh, getting mad, without beating somebody down, even when you feel like it, without, because see, that's what the devil wants. The devil wants us to think we're all divided based on skin color, based on age, based on uh, a political party, but really the Lord Jesus wants to unite us. He wants to unite us in Christ, regardless of your your race, your 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 color, your ethnicity, Galatians 3, 26 and 27, 28. You are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. 
There's neither Jew nor Greek, bond nor free, male or female. We are all one in Christ. In other words, no one is any better than anyone else. We just need to be members. We just need to decide. You should just decide to become a child of God. Now, it's peaceable, it's gentle, it's easy to be entreated, it's full of mercy. Don't you need some mercy today? Don't you need some mercy to say, to, today? Just type in the chat, I need mercy. If you need mercy, just type in the, in the chat, I need mercy. Now, I need mercy. I'm admitting mine. Uh, but if you don't need any mercy, don't type anything. But but if you need some mercy, uh, just type in the, the, the feed the, that you need mercy. Thank you. God bless you. I, I, I believe we all need some mercy. Well, the, when you read this Bible, when you read the scriptures, when you receive the wisdom from above, uh, you will get some mercy. And there, my point is there are many people going around talking and they don't even know the word of God. You know, you, you, you don't even know the scripture. We need to know what the Bible says about all these issues of the world. Okay. Uh, thank you, Brittany. Thank you, April. Thank you, uh, Northside. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Veronica. Thank you, Sister Gibson and uh, uh, Reeves family. Thank you, everyone. I, I believe somebody out there is like me and needs mercy. I think we all need some mercy. Thank you, Jalen. We we need mercy, Sister Bell. Thank you. We we all need some mercy. I believe. Uh, I believe. Oh, thank you. You all are like me. Thank you, Sister Liz. Uh, again, I was feeling lonely there for a minute. I need mercy. You need mercy. We all need mercy. He says it's, it's full of mercy. It's full of good fruits. Fruit of the Spirit, Galatians 5.22. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, meekness, temperance, faith. Against such, there is no law. This word is without partiality. Oh, my goodness. I need about, oh, my, I need about a, an hour and a half on that. This word is without partiality. It gives the same uh, good and bad declarations to the black man, the white man, the brown, the, you know, whatever race we are, male or female. If this word is without partiality, God's word. If you do it, if you obey it, you'll be blessed. If you disobey, you'll be cursed. It's without partiality and without hypocrisy. Lord have mercy. What a word. We need this word. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. The wisdom from above or the wisdom from below. The wisdom from below will keep you confused. It will keep you angry. It will keep you wanting to get back at people. It will keep you in constant battle. I know people that I've been trying to teach them the gospel and help them to be saved for a long time. But they like the worldly life. And they can't understand why nothing works out. Can't understand why they can't get ahead. They can't understand why there's so many roadblocks. You are following the wisdom from below. They follow all the trends of the world. The world goes this way, they go that way. The world goes that way, it goes this way. This is a constant, unmanageable, shifting life. But if you stick with this wisdom from above, you'll be blessed. Thank you for joining us today. Single adult ministry, virtual Bible discussion. God is good. He's in the blessing business. Don't follow the wisdom from below. Follow the wisdom from above. We've discussed both from James chapter 3, verse 13 through 18. The wisdom from above is much better than the wisdom from below. If you need some more wisdom, call us, contact us. Come and visit us virtually Sunday morning, 8 a.m. worship, or visit us in person. Come and worship with us in person or virtually on Sunday morning, Northside Church of Christ, 8 a.m. We will be on Facebook Live, YouTube Live, 8 a.m. worship. Uh, you can come and visit us uh, in person. Uh, some have called from different places, and they're asking, and we let them know we are having 8 a.m. worship and 10 a.m. Bible study for the month of June, and then we're going to assess, the leadership is going to assess where we are and what is the next step in July. So we're encouraging you. Come and visit us or tune in or in uh, 8 a.m. worship, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, 10 a.m. Uh, Bible study, uh, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, uh, and, and it will be a blessing to you. I just wanted to teach this lesson today because so many people, uh, so many people out there are sitting there right now and your spirit is starving for this.
Your spirit is starving for this. You need this. You think you need another vacation, but you really need this. You think you need uh, you need to go to another uh, movie or another restaurant or go to another uh, play or go travel around the world, but uh, really you need this. And I believe God has slowed down a lot of our movement and travel and and the things that we like to do in our lives. So maybe, hopefully, we can receive more wisdom from above. Take the time, get the wisdom from above, study your word, study the Bible, contact us for counseling, contact us for if you want to be saved. You're not a Christian. You need that wisdom from above that tells you to hear the gospel, the death, burial, and resurrection. Believe it with all your heart. Repent of your sins. Uh, turn around from the life that you've been living and confess Jesus to be God's holy and divine son and be baptized for the remission of sins. Contact us. We'd love to study with you and help you in the salvation process. We need the wisdom from above. And after you're baptized, there's a growth process in Christ. Some people, you know, in school, you're only supposed to be in the eighth grade one school year. You know, at the beginning of the school year, that's great that you're in the eighth grade. But if you go to the eighth grade two years in a row, that's not good, you know. And some members, some Christians have been have been stuck in one growth level for two years, five years, seven years, ten years. You've been in the eighth grade in your spiritual walk for ten years. And you can't understand why you can't receive peace, you can't receive joy, uh, because it was good at one time, but your spirit is starving. We need more of the wisdom from above. Keep tuning in, watching the lessons, the videos, take notes, pray, add to your faith. We provide a lot of information. Walk with us through the book of Hebrews. We're studying the book of Hebrews. Check out the YouTube channel. Uh, there's a lot of lessons and message, uh, messages on the YouTube channel. This is how I started learning the Bible. Anything the church was putting out there about the word of God, I was in it. That was before Facebook and YouTube, but I was. we were reading packets and reading books and lessons and all those things, you need the wisdom from above. We love you. God bless you. Join us tomorrow for worship, 8 a.m., Facebook Live, YouTube Live, 10 a.m., Bible study. Let us pray. Let us pray. Dear God, we honor you. We thank you for your love and strength. Thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you for helping us in the time of need. We thank you so much for everyone who took the time out to... Uh, tune in and join to be a part of this lesson today, to participate in this Bible study. We pray for more wisdom. You told us to ask you for wisdom. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. If any woman lack wisdom, let her ask of God, who gives to all liberally and upbraideth not. Help us to receive the wisdom from above. Help us to turn away from the worldly sources of wisdom and turn to your word, to your scriptures. Thank you for the Church of Christ. Thank you for the Bible. Thank you for the leaders, the teachers that are preaching the truth. That, and thank you for the sisters and the brothers that are investing their time in learning what thus saith the Lord. We praise you. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Lord's will. See you tomorrow morning to get that wisdom from above.